Today is one of my favorite days. It's new car day. All right, you guys, so because it's new car day, we have a lot of exciting stuff that we're going to do. Well, obviously, Miss Melanie and I are grabbing some drinks first. I don't even think it's focusing on my face. Obviously, Miss Melanie and I are grabbing drinks first because it's hot outside. It's summertime. We need something to cool us down, cool our spirits, cool our souls, and make us happy. So, I bought this car for some very, I bought it for Melanie. <laughs> I bought this car for some very specific reasons, which if I give them, if I tell you guys those reasons now, it's gonna give away the car and I don't wanna do that. So once we get up there, let me run inside. I'm gonna do the paperwork. Let me tell you now, this car is not 100%, but that's with every car that we buy and we make them 120% because we go above and beyond, baby. Let's grab our drinks real quick and let's go pick up this car. I'm so excited for it. We're working with a lot of cool companies on this car, so. I can't wait. We just got to the dealership. I'm going to run inside, uh, pay him the down payment and whatnot, all that kind of stuff. Fill out the last little bit of paperwork. If there's any, I can see the car. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited for this car. I'm actually way more excited than I should be. So I just got done, um, paid them the down payment, everything like that. I got everything set up. I'm looking at the car right now. I absolutely love it. Let me give you guys a quick little montage of this thing before we go mobbing this thing home. I have, like I said, I have parts for this already at the house. So I'm very excited to start throwing stuff on here. You guys have been telling me to get one of these for so long. Now, like I said, I got this car for multiple reasons. First of all, uh, with Cobb's new green speed update, I wanna do a build that shows you guys you can still tune and modify Subarus within EPA regulations and be able to still make power with them. So that's the first goal with the car. The second goal is that I have dogs and having a hatchback like this in a back seat is absolutely wonderful to be able to just fold down the seats, get the dogs in the back, take them to the shop. Plus I can fold down the seats, put a whole bunch of stuff in there for the e Evo whenever we're working on that. We have a ton of shop space in this thing. So this is a 2014 WRX Premium. Um, none of the extra stuff in here that would come with like a limited or whatnot. It's literally a bare bones base. Now there are some stuff that I do need to go through, but the very important part is that the engine is all stock. So let me get out of this parking lot because there's a whole bunch of like Harleys over there doing wheelies and whatnot. And I'll give you guys an update as we're driving back. But first and foremost, I need to swap out that shift knob because I absolutely hate that thing. I already got a cob knob. So in theory, this should just screw off, right? Should just screw off. Get off of there. If anybody wants this and they're local, they can just have it. Oh my God, they put an adapter on there. You buttholes, looks like I gotta swap that when I get home. I really wanted to put this on there. But I gotta get this adapter off. Now, I'm gonna say this. I don't even know if I'm in like focus or not. I'll hold it out here more. I'm gonna say this. It's been a while since I've driven a WRX with a five speed. <laughs> I almost tried to go into six when I first got on the freeway. And then remembered it's not a five, it's not a six speed, it's a five speed. Some of you might be asking Tanner, why did you buy a WRX instead of an STI like you usually do? And that's a good question. This is, oh my God, let me just talk about this when I get home, you guys. Made it back down to the house. I tried driving a little bit. You guys saw the Sony clip. I think it was all over the place. So um, car drives pretty well overall. It's very well maintained. I've got seven pages of Carfax history. So this car was religiously serviced at the dealer. There's very minimal modifications on the car. It's got a cat back, which we're swapping out for one that I have in the garage. Got a Grim Speed heat shield on the car for the turbo. Some brand coilovers, I don't know, those are getting swapped out also. It had like a, sh it's got a short shifter on it. It's very short, short shifter. I think it's a Cobb double adjustable short throw one because it is exceptionally short. I did swap out that shift knob and then I also threw on the rain guard just because it's like, oh, we, I have to have rain guards on my cars living in Washington, you guys. So let me show you around this thing. And then we're gonna go drive it around a little bit because I gotta go to the auto parts store because Subaru stiffed me on 3M tape on one of my rain guards. Like Subaru, what the hell? Woo! Oh, there she is you guys so you guys have said you wanted me to get a hatchback for a long time now the main reason i didn't get an sti and the main reason i wanted a wx for well uh, multiple purposes a like i said i want to show you guys that you can still tune cars using access ports and access tuners so just to prove that i need to replace my hatch struts don't judge me when you hear this <laughs> Like I said, I need to replace those. We already have an access port, so we're gonna install this before we go out, even go out for a drive tonight. 
But body is pretty clean. We have an NVIDIA N1 on here. It came with a trailer hitch. Uh, so I'm gonna be pulling that off tomorrow. Tomorrow starts the first, the modifications that we're gonna be doing to this. Basic maintenance, spark plugs, oil change, all that stuff. I also have a Cobb SF intake we're gonna be throwing on here and some other things. So for tonight, it's just gonna be a stage zero map going on this car uh, just to get the access port married onto it. And then like I said, the other reason why I wanted this car, specifically the WRX, is because I wanna show you guys how to do a six speed swap conversion from a five speed over to a STI six speed. Now we do have a six speed in the back of the garage. I don't know if you guys have seen this one back here or not. It is right down there. That one is not mine. That one is for Matt. Ow, blue Baru. What's up baby? So I want to show you guys how to do the six speed swap conversion. Uh, like I said, we're working with a lot of great companies on this car. We're going to be working with bag riders, grim speed, rally sport direct WRX daily. There's a whole bunch of companies that are actually jumping on board to help out with this build specifically. So I'm very excited for that. Now I also specifically wanted a WRX because I always told myself that I'd want to have relatable videos on the channel with cars that you guys can relate with. The Evo is a hard car to relate with unless you're an Evo owner, which there's really not a ton of Evos out there in comparison to Subarus. Um, the STI is a, is a fantastic car and I absolutely love my STI back there with the EG33, but it's not relatable for everyone because it's, it's an EG33. You guys don't, well, the majority of you guys don't have EG33s. There's a couple of you guys that do. So I wanted to get another EJ and I specifically wanted a 255 versus a 257 because I feel like there's more WRX owners than there are STI owners out there. Now I know some of you guys are going to ask me, Tanner, why didn't you get an FA20 WRX? To be honest, I don't want one. For just being cold cut and clear I, do, I don't want one I don't want to spend the money on one the other big factor of me getting a WRX was it's cheaper than the BRZ was Melanie and I are saving up for a house which is another big factor as to why I sold the BRZ I'm trying to set more money aside so that way we can move into a larger space we have our own place and it's just planning for the future if you guys get what I'm saying so I'm really excited I'm really excited for this WRX. Um, funny enough, it's kind of it's kind of full circle. The first Subaru I had that was like WRX STI kind of Subaru was actually a, a 2008 STI. That was the first one I got. There's a Subaru driving by right now. It's a VA chassis. Funny enough, the the very first like Subaru Subaru I had because my very first car was a 1988 Subaru XT. Um, I absolutely loved that thing. It was a manual. It's how I learned to drive manual. It's what got me into cars. But my first like performance Subaru was actually an 08 STI hatchback. In this, it wasn't this color, it was spark silver. This is ice silver metallic. Um, I'm gonna be wrapping the car. I'm not a huge fan of the of the silver, so we're gonna change the color. If you guys have any color suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. Also, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the videos somewhat relatable for you guys. Now, do wanna preference this before we start the build on this, before we dig into it. This is the last Subaru planned build I have for a while. I'm originally from Nissan's. I love Nissan's and after this WRX build is complete, the next car I, I'm gonna get is, is an older Nissan. I really want an S13 hatch uh, with pop-ups. I love me some pop-ups and I wanna do another RB engine. I had a, I just, I love RBs. We got the meats. So, dope, let's get this access port installed. Let's go drive this thing around a little bit. Go to the auto parts store, grab some 3M tape so that way I can finish putting on the last of my rain guards. Cause Subaru, why'd you stiff me? They legit stiffed me. They didn't put any 3M tape on this one rain guard. All right, I'll go buy some 3M tape since Subaru doesn't want to give it to me. Let's install our access port. <laughs> to answer everyone's questions, is an access port still worth buying? I hope me installing this access port goes to show you that yes, they are still worth buying. I'm gonna show you guys. And no, I'm not affiliated with Cobb. Cobb isn't helping on this build. To be honest, I don't think Cobb even likes me. To be even more honest, I'm pretty sure Cobb hates me, if anything. 95%. Watch, I just unplug this as I'm driving. Please turn and leave the ignition to the off position to begin vehicle re reinitialization. All right, it is off, it's on. I don't trust it. All right, let's start this thing up. I want six gauges because I know what I monitor. They're all on AF correction. Right, this short shifter is way too damn short. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a Cobb double adjustable. I'm gonna have to adjust it. Let the idle relearn. I'm gonna set up. Let's let idle relearn. I'll give you a couple sound clips and we'll go drive this thing. I'm gonna get this wire like all tucked up where it needs to go. We got an access port on the car. Already like 10 steps ahead. Oh man, oh dude, this thing is way too short. Ooh, did I miss these things? I miss little EJs. People dog on these engines all the time, but to be honest, man, a well taken care of EJ is top notch.
to be honest, the car definitely feels like a WRX. Like, if you want a good comparison, a stock WRX like this with just a reflash, I mean, we have a stage one reflash on the car. It's not gonna make much more. Um, but to be honest, the STI on a base two and feels way faster than this. But that's just for now. That's just for now. Uh, I definitely need to adjust the shifter because this thing feels like dog shit. But you know what? We, we can manage that. We can deal with that. We're going to six-speed swap this car at some point. This car is going to be built in two phases, you guys. So the first phase is going to be, I'm going to try to build the car as EPA compliant as I can to show you guys that it can still be done. Not every single part that we're going to use will be EPA compliant, but there will be an EPA compliant counterpart for those of you that do have to follow EPA compliance and carb compliance. So... We're gonna do the stuff in the things, you guys. I'm excited for this thing. I don't know if you guys are getting bored of like Subaru EJ stuff or whatnot, uh, but this is my bread and butter right here. This is my bread and butter. I need to take this sticker off this window. I gotta get this thing tinted, man. I'll call my tinting guy tomorrow. We'll get this fishbowl fixed in the next week or so. This thing does have some type of aftermarket clutch in it. I don't know what kind of clutch, but I also have a new clutch at the house, so. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel as snappy. You know what's weird? You know, it's weird. I've had a lot of EJ based cars. This is my first EJ based WRX. All the WRXs I've had in the past have been FA 20s. So this is my first EJ WRX. They've all been STIs. This is the first EJ one I've had, which is really weird for me to think of. So this should, this is like the most relatable Subaru build I can do for you guys. I think I really wanted the Forester like we were talking about a, I couldn't find one within the price range I wanted. Um, like I said, I wasn't trying to spend more money than what the BRZ was at or anywhere close to that. I wanted something to be able to spend less money. And I'm pretty sure we have a cracked firewall, so I'm gonna have to fix that because I can hear it squeak every time I push the clutch in. I like it though, I like it. It brings me back. It's very nostalgic for me to have another GR hatchback. Like I said, this was my first like real Subaru performance car that I had was an STI hatchback. And having another one, it just, it, I don't know, it's very nostalgic to me. That shifter makes a lot of noise. I'm going in here to get in the zone. Auto zone. Let me run into auto zone real quick, grab some 3M tape so I can get this rain guard on when I get back home. All right, guys, so that's what I got for you guys on this one. I got my other rain guard on, by the way, if anyone was curious. I gotta have rain guards, man. I think they look good, and they're, uh, they're extremely functional, especially up here in Washington, so... I'm fucking pumped for this thing. I'm way more excited than I should be. So the next video, we're going to start modifying this thing. It's all the parts that I have on the back rack. I still need to order an AOS and some other stuff um, just for the reliability aspect of things. But I'm excited. I'm really excited to be working with the companies that we're working with on this build too. I think this will be the best relatable build that we've done on the channel, if that makes sense. Um, it's an EJWRX. It's all stock right now for the most part. I, it, we're gonna build it as much as we can to comply with the EPA stuff to show you guys that you can still do it Like I said, there's gonna be some stuff that I do that's not EPA compliant But there will be a counterpart or you don't have to do that modification um, For yourself so plus I mean it's a good compliment to the STI and another reason I didn't get an STI is because I have a freaking super STI right there I don't need another STI. I got this one that we're gonna turn into an STI better than an STI It's gonna be I need a name for this car I don't know. It's a good deal. I like this car. It, dude, it's so nostalgic for me. Like for those of you that knew me before the channel, before I started doing YouTube, and you remember my old silver WRX S or my old silver STI. Yeah, I don't know. It just bring it brings back a lot of good memories. So, like I said, a lot of plans for this one. We're gonna modify it multiple stages, six speed swap it, um, the whole kit and caboodle. So, if you guys are excited for the hatch, leave a like. Come on, like, let's boost the algorithm. We're so close to 100,000 too. Come on, let's, let's get that algorithm going. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. I'm pumped, I'm excited, I love this thing. I can't wait to start digging into it. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you wanna be one of these corners, no idea which one I'll put it in quite yet. Um, if you like the video, I think I said hit the like button, hit the like button anyways. If you don't like the video, hit the like button. Hit the dislike button if you don't like the video, so. Dope! That's all I got for you guys on this one. So with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Color of the day, we haven't done that in a while. Silver for the new WRX. So peace out, homies.